the ultimate content creation hack if you're looking to create a bajillion posts in a small amount of time. I specifically wanna show you how to create 200 social media posts in 10 minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create 50 in-feed posts for Instagram and 50 short form videos that you can then repurpose onto Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok, ultimately giving you 200 pieces of content to post. As always, timestamps will be in the description below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's jump to the computer and get into it. Jumping straight into chat GPT. If you don't already have an account, you can create a free account, go to openai.com and just set that up. We're going to submit our prompt. So obviously we're bulk creating and we want to make 100 pieces of content. I've seen a bunch of videos where it's like create a list of a hundred Instagram tips, right? And I feel like that might not be very accurate because a hundred is quite a bit of tips and maybe there might be repeat tips. So I want to add as much variety to my content as possible. So we're going to actually do a little trick and we're going to do a list of 25. I'm going to show you how not only we're going to do, okay, we're going to do this and we're going to do it four times. That's not what we're doing. We're actually only going to do this two times. And then I'm going to show you how you could repurpose and recycle our content to fit multiple formats. So Let's start it off with create a list of 25 encouraging quotes or inspirational quotes for content creators and YouTubers. I'm going to copy that and submit. Perfect. So we have our encouraging quotes. I wanted to have something that's inspirational. And now we're going to make something that's like tactical, practical. So we're going to do create a list of 25 tips for content creators and YouTubers. Okay, perfect. So obviously each of these line items are going to be their own post and we're going to generate that right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy all 25 of these and upload it to Google Sheets. So I just have a blank sheet here, starting with our inspirational quotes, gonna paste that there. And then in a new spreadsheet, I just pressed this add button, created a second spreadsheet. I'm going to do the YouTube tips for creators, copy, paste, perfect. And then we need to export each of these as a CSV file. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. You don't need to know what it is because we're just going to do it anyway. So file, we're going to download export as CSV. Number one is done. Let's do our second one, file, download export as CSV. Okay, let's jump into Canva and start making our 100 posts. Real quick, if you're interested in AI trends for marketers in 2023, then you're going to love this video's free resource created by HubSpot. When you follow the link below, you'll get access to 33 pages of AI marketing tips. HubSpot gathered survey data from over 1300 global marketing, sales, service, and SEO professionals to put together this bundle of like everything you need to know about AI marketing. You'll get practical tips for integrating AI into your tech stack and key insights into the future of marketing with AI. Again, this 33 page bundle of goodness is completely free and I will link it down below. Let's continue to make our content. In Canva, we're going to create 100 pieces of content. What we're going to do is we're turning these 25 tips into 25 graphic posts, and then we're also going to turn them into 25 reels, which could be repurposed onto TikTok or YouTube shorts. And then these inspirational quotes that is going to be turned into also 25 graphic posts and 25 reels, giving us our 100 pieces of content. But of course, when you repurpose these to three platforms, that's actually going to give you 75 pieces of content times two. 150. Look at us. We're actually making like 200, 200 freaking posts right now. Anywho, just wanted to explain that before we dive in. Let's start with our Instagram graphic. We're going to just keep it simple. Select this blank doc 
And we're going to do our inspirational quotes for this one. So there's plenty of templates on Canva that you could use. So under this template section, I would just look up quotes. There's obviously some here already. So I'm going to select this one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. After you've added your brand colors, fonts, and you've gotten it ready to add the quotes, once you're ready to like, okay, I'm ready to put in all 25 of these things, then what you're going to do is go to apps over here, scroll down down to bulk create and we're going to upload our CSV. We're going to upload our inspiration CSV and here it's telling us, okay, perfect. Your data has been connected. This is the field that we've identified. Let's plug it in. Where are we going to plug it in? So we need to tell Canva where to plug it in. So we would select this text that you want replaced, select connect data and choose the one that it's identified. So here, we're going to press continue and we're going to generate the rest of our pages. And there you have it. This is 25 graphics to post to Instagram. You could, of course, modify like if you wanted the author to be or the person who said the quote, you could move that down. So there might be a little bit of tweaking that you do depending on the prompt that you put into chat GPT and the template that you selected from Canva. Other than that, Pretty simple. We got our first 25 done. Now let's create our reels. Going back to our Canva home, selecting social media, we're going to select Instagram reel. And I'm going to find a template that I feel could give some good tips. So I actually like, let's say we like this one. We're going to select this template. I'm going to have this text say tip of the day for my fellow content creators. And that way, um, when we insert our tip of the day, I don't have to keep changing this if I was like tip one, tip two, tip three. So I think tip of the day is perfect. And then this is the one that we're going to change. I think I'm gonna do a more simple font. So, cause I feel like that one's kind of hard to read. So we'll do this one. Again, once you have your branding all set, don't worry about the video. We can do that next. But if you have one video that you want to use for all 25, obviously you could make sure that video is uploaded now. I'm actually going to do different videos for a different piece of content, and I'll show you how to do that right after. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to apps, bulk create, upload CSV, tips, open. It's identified the main field, which is great. So we just need to tell it where to connect this text to. So I'm going to select here, three dots, connect data, select. Looks almost good. I'm going to bring it out a little bit more, something like that. And then we'll continue to make the rest of our 24 pages. And now we can change the video if that's something that you wanted to do. So for me, I don't think I would keep the videos all the same. I actually would just use their stock videos that's right here in Canva. So maybe I'm going to look up content creator, see what kind of stock videos they have here, and try to get the tip to match the visual. So obviously that takes a little bit more time for the sake of saving time for this video. I'm just going to drag this here. Boom. Love that one. What other ones do I like? I like this typing on a laptop. So I'm just dragging their stock images right here. Now, something else that you can do, and this is something that my team and I do, you know, the random videos in your photo album on your phone right now. Yeah. Upload those to a folder on drive called vertical videos. I went through earlier this year and just downloaded a bunch, a bunch of my random, random videos and put them here. So I have a bunch of stuff of me like speaking at conferences, connecting with other people, working at coffee shops. So I have different shots like this. And so these are actually the videos that my team will pull from when creating short form videos for me. So I could just download all of those and then bulk import them to all of these clips, having them in the background. And that's how you make your 25 reels. Now you just repeat this process for the inspirational quotes and the tips again. So obviously we have the tips in video format, but we don't yet have the tip in quote format. So we need to do that. And I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory, but you're going to just go back to designs. You're going to choose maybe like a tips template, one that you really like. Let's say 
here's the tip that you want to do. And then again, import the CSV with the tips, put that thing down, flip it and reverse it, right? Now we're going to do inspirational quotes for our reels. So that's how you get 100 pieces of content with variety so that it doesn't seem like, you know, a robot created everything. Now, if you're a content creator who wants to integrate more of ChatGPT into your content creation process, then watch this video next where I dive into not only how to use ChatGPT and the basics of it, but all the different ways that you could use it as a content creator from writing pitch templates to send to brands and coming up with social media posts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Follow your joy. Bye.